played at the very top level in sports. What did you learn from sports that you now bring into business? Well, sports uh, at that level is all about strategy. Um, you look at the players at the NBA level, these are the best athletes in the world. Um, they've gone to the high school level, um, been the best players in the high school or university, been the best players in university basketball, which was college basketball in America, which is absolutely huge. And then all European players, the NBA guest players from all over the world. So these are the best athletes um, the NBA, NBA teams attract. So in terms of talent level, it's quite similar uh, in terms of talent level. Well, you have some exceptional athletes who are some of the greatest players that ever played the game. But on average, uh, in the middle, on the middle, there's a lot more um, uniformity in the talent level. And so as an athlete, you have to devise a strategy on how to defend uh, against your, your opponent, and how to attack your opponent, and um, a, a, a strategy of winning. People, people, most people, what they don't understand is there's a, there's a process of winning in, in, in sports that sports is at that level. You have to divide a strategy and execute that strategy. So uh, those things that translate very similar to business. It's about having the right strategy, it's about execution. And uh, that's the simple thing we try to do in, in the business, about coming up with the right strategy and problem solving. So we have a problem. With these customers, customers have a problem. They need to travel, they need a visa. They need to get the best options for flights. They need to get the best options for hotels. They need to get the best options for you know, somebody to pick them up from the airport when they land in the new country. Those are one of some of the distressing things I value as they can give a customer. Like when you get to the, after a long flight, a six, seven hour flight, you want to get to the airport and want to have somebody waiting for you there to take you to the hotel. These are things that additional services that we are, um, um, value we're creating for, um, by, uh, on Wakana that makes it a lot easier, not just booking the, tra the travel, but also making sure that the, the experience is, is, is easy and is, is, uh, is comfortable for the customer. And those are the things that create a difference. And that's why you see us expanding the company to, all, to key locations around the world to be able to provide those additional services. Uh, talking about uh, payments, we're launching a new uh, Wakana um, prepaid card. We understand the issues with payments now. Um, payments are brought some of the times the cards have challenges. We're coming with our own prepaid card that can be used globally and you can just um, transfer the money you need to, to, to use at your destination. Or you can even use it locally. And that creates an earn point and earn loyalty. And that way you can gain discounts on your future travel. So we're, trying to, we're, we're here to solve the problems of customers, identifying the issues, opening up new destinations. Those are things that we have recognized as opportunities to create value for the customers. And so that's why we're working very hard to be able to create um, value, um, value across the board for the customers. You know, many athletes struggle after their playing careers. What makes the difference between the athlete who goes on to a successful second career and the one who has post-career difficulties? Well, I think that the most important thing in, in life is, uh, and, and, and I tell all athletes all the time, especially when I was playing, is make sure that you get an education. It's extremely important that, uh, and that's why I love the US, pro, U.S. system, which is that you're going through high school to university, and that's where the, that's where the NBA um, recruits its players or drafts its players from because they've, been, they've passed through the high school level they, and they get an education. So most like student athletes. And so that's why the U.S. system was, was very good in making sure that it produce, produced athletes that actually went to the educational system. Uh, not the U, 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 the Europe, in Europe, they also do the same thing, They're trying to, but they have specific academies or things like that that they, that they work with. And, um, so the first thing for us is to make sure you have an education through the process. Second thing is that while you're still playing, you must make sure that you're planning your future because you can, uh, no matter what it is, you, an athlete is going to retire at some point. As an athlete, you have to be extremely careful um, about the lifestyle that you live and, um, and uh, be able to put some money away and plan your future. At any day, I don't, I don't know how much money you're going to put away that will, rest, uh, that will last you the rest of your life. Um, some of the athletes make enough money to do that, but most of the time there's a large pool of them that don't because it's... It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not as much money between the, the difference between the uh, middle class and the upper class in, in, the, in, the, in the composition of top athletes. So it's all about planning um, and, uh, and focusing. Another big problem here in Nigeria, or, uh, and I tell you, is that even athletes here, let's look at the local leagues. Uh, I don't know what programs they have for posts um, for the athletes after they're done with, um, in terms of. Um, of uh, pension plans, in terms of all those kind of things. In the NBA, as soon as you're done four years in the NBA, you qualify for pension. So I'm, I have a pension right now as a, for my NBA athlete. I have a medical insurance um, scheme that can take care of my family 
um, until the day I die. You know, so uh, my family is also part of that, that insurance uh, scheme. So the MBA has gone to a different level of making sure that post cross career you're able to have the basics. Now, it still doesn't matter, mean that you're going to maybe it's gonna provide for you for the rest of your life. It's just that you have to now look for ways and look for things, identify them early enough. And I tell you other time, it's better you start early, make your mistakes. Business is not easy. I failed in my first couple of um, uh, ventures because I was still learning and uh, there was a learning process I had to go through. Um, but then, as, because I was on determination, I was able to scale through those, those challenges. I was able to learn through those failures and then to not, you know, uh, move into a more su a successful venture like, like what can out today. Uh, unemployment is a big problem, mm -hmm. clearly, uh, with many young people thinking that they have to wait for government to hand them a job. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do to change that mindset? Uh, when you're talking about uh, a population of 170 million, with over 60 percent of 65 percent of them on the age of 30, you you have a serious problem uh, in terms of job creation. And our educational system, I don't believe, is is educating these young people enough about entrepreneurship, job creation, um, not uh, um, looking for jobs, uh, creating opportunities, and solving problem, problem solving. And when you talk about entrepreneurship, what is, what is entrepreneurship? You have, you have um, um, the, the, the best founders or best entrepreneurs in the world are people that have identified the problem and found the solution. And that's really what it's all, all about. Our educational system needs to change very drastically towards educating these young kids that it's, it's important that you understand that as you come out of college or university, you need to be thinking about how you are identifying problems that you have experienced every day in your life or see how you can create value those can turn to viable businesses and, um, because all we're doing here for myself, we found, I found a problem. We found a problem. We wanted to solve a problem and the problem was enabling customers to be able to book their travel in a much easier and transparent form, uh, format at the best available price. So these are the things that we need to start educating our young people that there are no many jobs out there, there are so many banks, there are so many oil companies, there are so many law firms. There's so many, you know, the normal medical services, all those things that we grew up saying you must be a doctor, engineer, and all this kind of thing. Those days are gone. Yeah, today, there's a whole industry, e-commerce, social media, um, and different things, e-learning. E so there's a lot of different app, um, business uh, um, um, sector that we need to play a role in, um, in terms of e-commerce. Uh, that uh, we need software developers, we need you know, um, uh, entrepreneurs, we need graphic designers, we need web de you know, website designers. So there's so many aspects of this new world that we live in and it's interconnected because all of us use, know what Twitter is, all of us know what, Fa know what Facebook is. We're all um, products that were developed in the Western world and our global products that we use that have billions of subscribers all over the world. And these are the kind of things that our young people need to start thinking about. What can we develop? How can we create new solutions to everyday problems? And that's, that's the most important thing. We have to take another break now. Please join us again.